Hi guys, so today's video is going to be a revision guide tips and tricks kind of video. So even though um, exams are coming up, um, I know for me they're coming up, I have mock exams for year 10 before year 11, so I will have to revise for them. Um, and I've just got a few, a few tips and tricks to share with you. So yeah um my social medias will be linked down below and if you like this video give it a thumbs up and yes thank you for coming to watch my video let's hope you get some nice revision tips and tricks to pass them exams so let's go so um this is my revision timetable now all the blue is when i'm in school and then the pink there is just me walking home from school and then these um, coloured ones, so the yellow, blue, orange, pink, beige, creamy, uh, light green, dark green, medium green and red for my classes. So I, on a Monday I revise history and maths, on a Tuesday I revise PE and textiles, and on a Wednesday I revise English, biology, physics, chemistry and RE. So there what I'm I revise. Um, I will find um, a link to a revision, a clear revision timetable, so that will be in the description for you to do and create your own. So that's the revision timetable. So the next thing I would recommend is a planner um, slash diary slash agenda. So this is mine at the minute, this is for 2016 and 2017 and I do use this a fair bit and it, I just use it to write my notes and when I have history and work to do so that was on the 13th of March your birthday if you're watching it was someone's birthday on that day so yeah if you're watching um um yeah so a revision planner slash revision what am I talking about a Planner slash agenda slash diary, whatever you want to call these. This is my academy diary, which is what I call it. Um, if they don't come with your school, which they do up until you get to year 10 in my school. Um, so, yeah. So, we had to buy my own so I could write down all my homework and things I need to revise and what exams I have. Um, and, yeah, that's it for the agenda planner and that kind of thing. So the next thing I want to just say is probably I if I if you haven't already I'd get revision books slash guides. So I have one for every lesson, as you can see here. So I have. Walk out the door, you see someone that you know, and they ask you how you are, and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. I have history, which is on the Anglo Saxon one, I have history on the modern world history, I have a mathematics one, English language and literature, biology. Physics and chemistry. So they're there. Um, and then um, I'd also recommend a folder. So this is just my folder. It currently has my English folder in it. I'd get a folder like this binder to just keep all your notes in. And I am a visual learner. So I like to highlight loads of things in the textbooks. And I also like to. Right, so if you were going through this, you'd see that I like to write lots in colour because I find that writing in colour helps me to learn and be able to understand it more. So like, Mrs Burling's in purple for Inspector Calls, and we have blue for Mr Burling, and then light green for Gerald, um, dark green for Inspector, orange for Eric, and purple for, no, pink for Sheila, and... I just find that if I write in colour, then I, when I go to the exam, I can think purple is Mrs. Burling, so then I can remember the facts. So it could be like that. Um, and my teacher also gave me um, this, um, like this guideline thing. 
So um, if you do need to, if you are doing like inspector calls or massive men, whatever you're doing in your class, um, ask your teacher for like past exam papers um, and loads of other things to do with like the topic you're doing um, and it will just help you to be able to get the best grade you can get in your exams no matter what exams they are whether the GCSE mock exams they're all important exams so you need to be able to make sure that you can get the best grade you can get so um I would say you should do about 30 minutes to 40 minutes of revision at once because your brain can only hold 30 to 40 minutes worth of revision so what I would tend to do is I'd get like a chemistry book and I'd go through it and I would write down my notes from one topic in chemistry for half an hour to 40 minutes and then I would stop and have a 10 to 15 minute break just on my phone so I'd just like sit on my phone and things and that and I'd after the break I'd move on to physics and do the same do a bit of that and then stop and then I do biology by biology biology and then I do the same and then same for English maths all the other topics so I do that and then I would find that my exam results would be better because I've learnt more so then once I've done all that I can go over my notes at the end before my exams to revise the notes so it has been so much easier for my brain to be able to work and remember things. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and got lots of revision tips that will help you out in the future. And I just want to give out a shout out to JN Hardwood. Go subscribe to him. Um, he's just started to make um, videos on YouTube. He has three videos at the moment. So make sure you go and subscribe to his channel and watch his videos. Um, I will link them in the description box below.